Welcome to part two of the Advanced Balance Method Group introductory video series. So this one we're going to look at what is Advanced Balance Method according to IFAB. Advanced Balance Method acupuncture builds on the six meridian balancing matrix, which is developed from the six systems of balance that Dr. Tan called uh, Chinese meridian name sharing. And if you've not already imprinted uh, the six system matrix and six systems of balance into your permanent memory, then this is your first job. You need to be able to calculate in your head all of these relationships. And if there is anyone here who is not familiar with these charts, hang on to your hat. You can go through the training series, you're still going to get some insights and information, but it might be a little bit difficult to grasp because if you don't need, know these systems, it means there's a hole in your training uh, and that, that hole is a foundation balance method class. And whether you do that online uh, or with uh, face-to-face, see you on Academy of Acupuncture, etc., cetera, um, or if you study the books yourselves and, you, and you're bringing that information through, uh, you really do need to get um, both of these systems in your brain. In your brain, laddie. Okay, okay, okay. So the six systems are used in local balance through the principles of mirroring and imaging. Again, if you're not familiar with these, find the foundation training or contact me. Um, and this forms the basis of the one, two, three approach, which is diagnosis, balance, and points. And let's just follow a simple example. So here we've got bilateral throat pain and swelling, sick meridians, REN channel, stomach and kidney. So we've got throat information here, we've got REN channel, kidney bilateral, stomach bilateral. And I've chosen the large intestine meridian to balance uh, this area and the dew to balance the REN. So large intestine balances both stomach and kidney and its image area uh, in, for the large intestine meridian is either the wrist or the shoulder. And here I've decided to use the wrist um, as in large intestine five. And also to include uh, points on the scalp, due 23 to due 24 are she, uh, to balance the, the Ren aspect. So that's the local balance. Now when you apply advanced method, balance method acupuncture, we need to add another component. Uh, and that is, what's the pattern? And if you've done advanced balance method training, we're already used to thinking in patterns, Tai Yin, Yang, Ning, Tai Yin, Tai Yang, Dragon, Yin, Xiao Yang, Xiao Yin, Xiao Yin, et cetera, et cetera. So we're already kind of, we know how to uh, identify those patterns um, and then apply them to uh, specific symptom presentations. And what I'd like to share with you today uh, is a, a reverse engineering approach. And if you do this with the points, when you choose points in local balance, so if you're kind of just starting off with advanced and you're, you're quite, you know, you don't mind using local balance, we can learn a massive amount of information by backtracking into advanced balance method techniques. And if you follow this method, bit by bit, you will drastically increase that ability to think on your feet. Okay. Really does make a difference in treatments. So in the case of the hand Yang Ming, the large intestine, uh, being chosen as a, a meridian and point for treatment, we can consider these options. So using the six system matrix, uh, we have the following connections. So we have the connection from Han Yang Ming to Foot Yang Ming in the stomach, from Han Yang Ming to Foot Jui Yin in the liver, to the Han Tai Yin in the lung, Foot Xiao Yin in the kidney, and again Foot uh, Yang Ming uh, stomach. Now, if we look briefly at these relationships, 
we can see that the stomach as clock neighbor, so system five, receives from the large intestine meridian, meaning that the large intestine has to release its control and or attachments uh, for the stomach to fully prosper. An interesting that a, a sign of large intestine meridian excess is a swollen throat, painful swollen throat, which inhibits the intake of both air and food. Yeah, both, both aspects of the postnatal gene can be inhibited by large intestine excess. And the stomach uh, in the Sheng cycle also nourishes the large intestine. So if the stomach is feeling stressed and overwhelmed, it cannot support the process of letting go necessary for the Han Yang Ming. So these two are mutually independent, yeah, which is why they share a Yang Ming energetic level. Now the lung feeds the large intestine in the Qi cycle. And the fact that the lung channel begins in the stomach also should not be ignored here. The, the lung also has an ability to balance the urinary bladder. Uh, and as the urinary bladder uh, represents the posterior aspect of the body, and as, as we progress through and we learn about conjuran circulation and the posterior and anterior aspects of the triple warmer, um, you will start to find out well, how important it is for the back energy to be free and uh, flexible if the throat uh, is going to be okay. So basically, if the upper back is blocked, then the throat is also likely to get blocked. Um, so consequently, using lung points uh, can have quite an abstract function uh, on the stomach. Now the large intestine, um, traditionally the organ of the large intestine facilitates the invigoration and tonification of Ming Mun. And when the large intestine and kidney function well, uh, the front and the back, so the, the anus and the urethra, they empty regularly and uh, in a good format. And then they, those organs also retain correctly. They retain sufficient uh, feces or urine um, to store in the yang channels uh, to produce energy. Um, so you, and you'd expect in that condition, link, large intestine, kidney, person's legs are strong, they've got a good shiny complexion, uh, and they're full of vigour. So consequently, imbalance in the kidney meridian will stagnate the lower GL, uh, which will increase or decrease the activity of the large intestine accordingly. Now, liver supports metal in the daily chi flow. So obviously, liver's 1 to 3 a.m., uh, metal's... Uh, 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. so it, it precedes it and psychologically the liver also feeds metal. Um, each morning that we wake up we, we are presented with the work of our day and at night when we go to sleep and the blood goes back into the organs especially into the liver and if, if the liver won't accept it that we can't sleep this is why uh, difficulty getting to sleep is a, a liver pattern, a drain pattern. Um, when the blood goes into the liver, the, the accumulation during the day that stimulated the HUN, the, the non-corporeal cell, uh, is worked on overnight while, the, while, the, while we rest. So especially from 11, to AM, 11 p.m. till 3 a.m., uh, we're dealing and processing our day according to the, the nature of the HUN. So when, it, when the energy moves into the, the metal element, that's our ability to, to ground it and bring it into action. Uh, so consequently, if the liver meridian is imbalanced with uh, the large intestine, um, there's likely to be control issues. And there's quite often poor completion of tasks and restlessness leading to agitation. So if we were to add the symptoms of low voice, uh, let's just go back to that a sec. Um, yeah, if we add the symptoms of low voice and fatigue, just again as a demonstration, uh, they can be symptoms of uh, a deficiency in the lung. Uh, so here we have the, initially we looked at large intestine stomach, now we're looking at large intestine lung, uh, lung, <laughs> lung through its BLE relationship. 
And here there's the possibility of having an excess condition in the large intestinal meridian and a deficiency condition in the lung. Um, and for those of you that already work with hexagrams, uh, we can start to include these now in our analysis of these points. And uh, just quickly, I'm not going to go into how you create hexagrams from needling points in any depth because this is just a preliminary introduction and we'll easily cover that kind of information in the advanced balance method group. But basically large intestine five, uh, when you use the five element points plus the, the Yang Yuan, make up a line on the hexagram. So large intestine five is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, this hexagram here is Jundanda. It's the primary hexagram for the large intestine meridian. So if we want to use lung five, or every time we use lung five, we are welding this yin line into a yang line. And when we do that, that creates a change in the hexagram and it changes to number 42 or number 17, which is following. Okay, same with spleen three. Spleen three is the third on the hexagram of Li brightness. This is the doubling of the fire trigram, but also specific for the spleen meridian. So when we needle the spleen three, we actually break the weld of this solid line and we turn it into a yin line. Consequently, the fire trigram on the lower trigram here turns into the wood trigram on the lower one and creates 43 or the 21st hexagram called eradicating. And when I say, when the, when the numbers are in brackets, they're the numbers sequence within the I Ching book. Um, so when, you, when we're combining them, we're combining five element attributes on the meridian. We're combining the local image or mirror. Uh, we're obviously combining the, the correct balanced meridians to treat the sick meridians. Uh, and we can also include the hexagram guidance uh, to illustrate what the point is doing for us or what we want it to do. So large intestine five is the fire element point on the metal meridian. So fire reduces metal in the Kerr relationship, Sian Kerr relationships. So we are dispersing the, the excess in the large intestine through using lung five. Um, the, the hexagram of following is yin metal over yang wood. So here we've got a husband wife relationship again, uh, and this one is reducing wood. I might explain that a bit more later, I'll see. If we look at the lung deficiency aspect of it, uh, there's many ways to go. Just as an example, we could use spleen three uh, on the opposite side to treat uh, the lung deficiency. And the reason for that is we've got bilateral pain in the stomach and kidney meridians and the large intestine meridian will treat one side uh, for the kidney meridian uh, uh, sorry it will treat both sides for the kidney but it will only treat one side for the spleen uh, for the stomach so if we were to do say large intestine five on the left hand side then we could add spleen three on the, the right hand side to cover both aspects of the stomach and we're still also treating the underlying uh, pathology in the fact that we're reducing the excess in the large intestine meridian and we're tonifying the, the lung. So we're treating the underlying pattern as well. And eradicating the actual, there's some interesting uh, crossovers here. The Jui Lake trigram, the upper trigram here, uh, also represents the mouth. Um, and it also represents joy and communication. And here we have the fire trigram, and fire being the nature of fire, it's also very much about talking and communication uh, and lightness and brightness and sharing and caring. Um, and then both uh, over the Jun Thunder trigram of large intestine. And the Jun Thunder is about new activity, new growth, action, movement, dynamic change and shifts, the impulse that sparks off every new motivation. Um, and we're having fire and metal uh, both acting on liver. So you would think that there'll be a, uh, uh, 
a high, a high possibility of there being a liver involvement in this case. And just also as a side note, we could include the Lua vessel. So we could do large intestine five, also bleed the, the large intestine six um, or needle. And then we could add lung nine uh, to support the lung shoe deficiency. Um, this is another, uh, another way of going about this. And just to get a little bit more into it, what if we put poor appetite and reflux in? So both of these combined can be symptoms of stomach deficiency. Um, and what happens when we do that? Well, I've suggested here that we could add stomach 41. So stomach 41 is far on earth. So it has a tonification effect on the earth and it's a stimulating, uh, strengthening and cooling component uh, because fire is uh, also against inflammation and it creates a hexagram of 68 the multitude which is yin earth over yang water so here we can use the cognitive connection of the yi the spirit component of earth uh, working on the erratic nature of the mind uh, at a deep level basically and, and I've just shorthanded that to call it discipline in the mind. Now what that's done is it's given us three meridian states that connect to Tai Yin Yang Ming. So we've got large intestine five, uh, we've got spleen three and we've got stomach 41. So from that it would probably make more sense to put spleen three underneath large intestine five, stomach 41 over here and probably include lung nine. Uh, as a four needle uh, approach to treating bilateral throat pain and swelling, low voice and fatigue, poor appetite and reflux. Uh, the nice thing about it is the, the Yang Ming directly treats the throat through image uh, and the shoestring points on the Tai Yin uh, basically will address the lung deficiency, stomach deficiency issue. How about we just switch it a little bit? So we go now, we've also got red face, red tongue, yellow mucus, strong build, loud, loud voice. Can also add stomach 41. We could also choose stomach 45, metal on earth, uh, especially if there is a need to restrict a, a habitual pattern or addiction uh, that is having current detrimental effects. Now, despite the fact that stomach 41 is a tonification point, it also reduces fire, or well, this is its empirical use, uh, and the fact of using fire uh, as a means of reducing inflammation. And I like stomach 41 because it does image the throat. Um, so we've got those, those two components. We can still use them in this presentation of an excess. Uh, and then if we uh, add some symptoms to this, boredom, yawning, dyspnea, cough or upper back pain, we might want to use lung seven and spleen five. So like I said earlier, lung seven works on releasing the upper back muscles, governed by the foot tai yang and the hand yang min. Uh, when, these, uh, when we release those muscles, uh, then the throat also will be released. And spleen fire images the throat and the stomach channel, and it also reduces metal. So this combination here uh, is helping to reduce the upper posterior space uh, to support the movement of the yang ming in the, in the throat. Now let's look at the hexagram components here. So lung seven creates the 57th or the 18th hexagram of remedying. It's a yang earth over yin wood. So we have a reverse curse cycle here. So we ask in lung seven to reduce sympathetic overload. So through its connection to the posterior neck, through its connection to the stomach, uh, moving into the lung channel, uh, through its connection of the vagus nerve, uh, lung seven can help uh, reduce hyperactivity in the stomach and clear the upper back. Um, and the hexagram is using the trigram of Gun Mountain, which in its superior condition is stillness. Being centered in the self, tuned in, patient, able to wait, 
uh, able to run off uh, instincts and trust your instincts. And it sits over the gentleness of wind. So wind here is, uh, is signifying growth within the earth. Um, and again, it's just gentle and moving forward. So it's got no particular agenda. So lung seven in a lot of ways, especially with excess uh, young type symptoms, uh, can help to reduce that sympathetic overload. Stomach 41 we'd already talked about before, but uh, again, the cognition of the yeast stimulates the explicit memory of the germ so that we are able to learn from our past mistakes. Um, and this is the quality of the fifth line of the primary hexagram of the stomach, which is calm danger. Um, so if anybody is interested, may want to look up the 29th hexagram. Uh, which is calm water, then research the fifth line and you'll get an understanding of uh, this approach. Large intestine five we've already looked at. Spleen five is seeking harmony. And it's a young chin, the, the three young lines of chin heaven over the Li fire hexagram. And we're asking spleen five to release holding patterns of rigidity causing angst in relationship. Um, and it's intention, so initiation over inner brightness. So where we've got five yang lines, yang in its purest state is strong, straight, unyielding, firm, and honorable, you could say. And it's not, the yang nature is to drop underneath the, the lowest denominator and support it. In a, uh, an inferior quality, then that unyielding uh, determination basically becomes dogmatic, it becomes domination, uh, aggression, angst, uh, and rigidity. Um, so the, the fact that you've got one, one yin line here, which is the human aspect of the lower trigram, the, the option to change, this is denoting the inner peace and sincerity it's a yin quality within all these yang uh, and she helps to uh, reduce the, the the strong holding patterns that are creating problems in relationships so let's add another symptom we've got agitation nervous and non-productive in life So these are just variations just to give you a feel. Again, we're using large intestine five, but here we've changed uh, to a Zhui Yin Yang Ming approach. Um, and here the large intestine and pericardium meridians treat the image area of the throat. Uh, whereas the stomach 36 and liver five, they create a, the global balance dynamic of Zhui Yin Yang Ming. And stomach 36 is used to create space in the lower and middle jowls. Uh, so that the back circulation can move downward. So I just want you to just imagine uh, the triple warmer from the front, from the anterior aspect. So we've got lower abdominal, lower GL, navel downwards, navel to diaphragm, middle GL, and obviously the chest is chest and head is upper GL. So that's an ascending flowing circuit. Uh, the yin uh, uh, moving up, as you could say. Um, and in a lot of ways that's supported by the upright chi as well. So then where, where that goes then once it gets to the head and the throat is it goes into the posterior circulation. So there's a big space between uh, the spine uh, and uh, the cavities um, and that space uh, is very important in the overall trunk flow. So if that space at the back is blocked at all then you can get front prop pathologies and this is the, the one of the reasons why the front treats the back and the back treats the front so it's still the, still a balanced method philosophy um, so when you move energy in the lower and middle GLs, uh, you when you create space there the whole back energy can tuck under the tailgate under the the coccyx 
into the REN1 area and start to flow upwards as well. And that will relieve the throat pain or relieve the throat area. And that's why I've suggested this needle and sequence. The stomach 36 is used first to create that space. Uh, liver 5 uses the, the water over earth potential here. Um, we've got a, a wood over water here. So this um, creates the possibility of bringing the kidney energy uh, to the digestion to support the uh, development of goals and ideals. Okay. So we can always use liver five, the Luo point uh, on the liver meridian because that's an aspect of the, the yin Luo deficiency is that a person can't complete stuff. We can use that uh, to nourish and bring energy into the situation. Some of 36 and liver five basically giving stamina uh, and clearing the space. Um, and then PC7 is using the hexagram of eliminating, where these five yang lines are pushing this yin toxicity out. And because this is the mouth, uh, we can also suggest here that the, um, we're asking the person to eliminate their toxic speech or the thoughts associated with their toxic speech. And then the final one comes to following, which uh, we've, we've spoken about already, but it's basically the ability uh, to bring joy into the communication in a new way. So this video was to introduce you to the concept of reverse engineering as a means of learning, and is presented to you so it stimulates interest in your own investigations. Um, the core concepts needed to, to understand all of that stuff. Uh, I'm just going to uh, briefly highlight in the next video. Um, so if all of that was just way too much, uh, I'm glad, because if it wasn't way too much, then probably uh, um, you're doing fine and you won't need to, uh, won't need to join a group at all. But if that was a little bit of a struggle if you, for you to comprehend and grasp, and that's the kind of information that we were going to be going over each fortnight, um, uh, that it starts to so start to develop this picture. And like I said, I'm going to bullet point the core concepts needed in the next video. And I'm feeling a bit knackered actually, ready for a cuppa, and um, I'm pushing through to get this done before I go away to a course. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that. Love to have some feedback questions and um, see you in the next video.